Yeah, man. Another month in the books. May is in the books, and we off to June for sneaker releases, man. Let me ask y'all a question. Is June 2019 one of those months y'all had circled on your calendar like, is some heat dropping in June? Is, it, is, is June one of the months y'all were like, you know what? I got to have a little extra bread put aside because I'm going to be copping some of this. Fire! Let your boy know in the comments below. Is June bringing some heat what's going on everybody it's your boy mike rich man what's happening with y'all today i hope everybody each and every one of y'all is having a blessed day today today we're gonna get into them june sneaker releases man we're gonna get them we're gonna get into these june 2019 sneaker releases and we're gonna talk about whether i should get them or forget them get them on out of here man Every time, like, sometimes I don't like doing get them or forget them because it's a lot of shoes that I say forget them and I go ahead and I see them in hand and I kind of change my mind and be like, you know what, though, might be a cop, let me go ahead and get them. And then you have everybody in the comments talking about, I, 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 I might re I, 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 I thought you, that ain't how y'all talk, but some of y'all probably do talk like that. I, I, I thought you weren't going to get them, Rich. I, 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 I thought you had done said that you weren't going to get them, Rich. I'm, I'm closing my eye because I just woke up and I got this. I got these bright lights in my face, um, but yeah, it make me feel. It make me look like I'm a, a hypocrite sometimes when I say I'm not gonna get a shoe, and I doing this video, and then I end up copping the shoe anyway. So it happens, man. It happens. But anyway, let's go ahead and get into the June 2019 sneaker release, man. Sorry if I'm shaking the table a little bit. I'm kind of just leaning on it right here. Um, starting off with number one, you already know, right here. I gotta put to the side so we can just be real quick on them. Ray Allen Jordan Sevens. Um, they didn't sell out. Of course, I didn't think they were going to sell out. I said that they weren't going to sell out, and they'd be easy to get for retail. But um, they came out June 1st. So did y'all cop? Did you get them? Did you get a pair? Come below and let me know. Dope shoe. Very dope shoe. P.E. Ray Allen. I love the hits of purple. Love Jordan 7s. And the second shoe that released in June on here is a shoe that a lot of people was getting on me about yesterday for some reason. Nike Air Max 1 Swiper. The De'Aaron Fox joints right here. I know who he is now, y'all. I know who he is. De'Aaron Fox. He playing for the Sacramento King, man. He playing for the Sacramento King, man. Hey, you talking about? I know who this guy is now. You feel me? His shoe fire. You feel me? And I'm just I'm just kind of trolling a lot of people that was in the comments just was acting like so shocked that I didn't know who this guy was, bro. I don't I don't watch NBA like that because I don't have time to watch NBA like that, bro. I got a full-time job being a truck driver, and I do a YouTube channel, and I got a two-year-old daughter, man. I don't have time to sit and watch NBA games and study these college players and know who these guys is, man. Y'all hear me in the comment like, uh, it's an embarrassment to the sneaker game because I don't know who De uh, De'Aaron Fox did, man. Shout out to that guy. He doing his thing. He in the NBA. That man got millions of dollars. He should know who I am. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tripping, man. I'm just I'm not, but for real though, I'm just saying though, people act like just because you got a platform like this and and that you and it's about sneakers and stuff like that, you're supposed to be so knowledgeable of everything that come out. I can like a shoe without even knowing. If I walk through the mall and I see a shoe that's dope and I like, I'd be like, bro, those are fire. I do not have to know the background of it. I can learn it. And that was the purpose for the video. I told y'all to comment below if you know more about this guy and you know more about his game and stuff like that. Come below and let me know. And a lot of y'all hit me with the knowledge without making me feel like I was stupid or I was ignorant for not knowing who that guy was, man. I, I, contrary to popular belief, your boy don't know everything about basketball. Your boy don't know everything about sneakers. Your boy don't know everything about everything, man. It's a part of life, man. You got to learn. And like I said, I barely, I barely watched the entire game of basketball this season until the playoffs. I actually... When the playoffs hit is when I first actually started seeing actual basketball games. So all them people, all those people who telling me, you know what I'm saying? That ain't real. You don't know. I can't believe you supposed to be in this. Bro, you can go kick a rock down the damn street for all I care. And keep it moving. You feel me? Anyway, that was my little rant about that. Next up, the Kobe Zoom 4 Pro Tro Car Pre. I mean, Carpe Diem. Let me get it out of my mouth right before people start saying I'm stupid for not knowing how to say that. Bruh. Pass. Never been a Kobe 4 fan. Lakers colorway, eh, but y'all can keep them. If they're a good basketball shoe, hey, hey, man, let me know what you're doing with them, man. You're going on the court. You, you're balling in them. They're good for stability. They're good for making your cuts, crossing folks up. Um, you let me know, but I'm just not a fan of the silhouette, especially for uh, casual wear. We got the Fear of Gods, man, the orange post and the uh, frosted spruce. I went for them in the, um, I went for them. 
as far as in a draw on Sneakers Up, because I knew I wasn't going to win, because I'm not even crazy about the shoot. The only fear of God um, I like was the first one that came out, the black with the uh, light bone mitt. So that's the only one I actually would probably say I can probably try to pull off. It's no way in hell I'm pulling these off because they got like they in like super summer spring type vacation -y colors and they and they boots basically so I don't I don't know how we're gonna rock though. Um next up, uh Air Jordan 1 High OG SP Gina. They 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 clean but all black, red bottoms, got the kind of like shimmery thing going on. I probably wouldn't have had to have that shoe anyway. It, it's a dope sneaker though. I'm not even gonna count them dope. Um next up um, the Easy Boo 700 V2 Vanta, they came, I thought they came out a few days ago. Was that not the official release date? They say June 6th. Um, all black, Easy 700, nah, shout out. Uh, them, they look like work shoe, bro. They like you supposed to be dropping fry with them guys on, like you supposed to be on uh, chopping lettuce with them guys on, you feel me? No, no, no offense to anybody who do that type of stuff, but those look like the shoes, like the non-stick shoes you're supposed to wear when you work in the kitchen or something like that. Um, so I'm good on them, G. Um... Next up, the Adidas, speaking of Yeezys, Adidas Yeezy Boost 350 V2 uh, Black Reflective. Now, they have a ref they have a reflective and a non-reflective that's coming out like that. The non-reflective remind me of like the uh, Yeezy V1, the first Yeezy that came out under Adidas with a 350 anyway. It reminds me of that shoe because it got that, that thing in the back with a little red stripe around it. I think that shoe had that. That's what that reminds me of. And they alright, you know what I'm saying? Like I said, I'm not a big crazy fan of the V2s. My thing is, when the hell are y'all gonna stop making these, man? I promise you, like, this shoe has been releasing for like two or three years now, I feel like. Like, why? They didn't make, they, it, correct me if I'm wrong, but they didn't make that first 350 as, as long as they making these right here. And as many pairs as they making these. These must be very cheap to make or something like that, because I promise you. They still bringing these out? Where the V3 at, bro? Y'all, somebody let me know. Are they gonna do it? Um, not like I really care anyway. I'm not even I'm not even a fan of them like that. But uh next up, and I'm sorry, I'm not saying get them or forget them for none of this stuff, bro. I'm tripping, tripping. I'm not saying get them or forget them for none. I I don't think it's nothing that I was gonna get them as, unless I got it already. I got the Ray Allens, so get them, of course, because I got the shoe. Uh the Nike, the Air Max One Swiper joints, Swiper Fox action. Um, uh, apparently that was from Dora the Explorer too. Okay, I'm gonna leave it alone. Uh, <laughs> get them because I got that shoe as well. Uh, Kobe, forget them. Fear of Gods, I went for them in a draw, but I wasn't gonna keep them. So forget them. And the Nike, the Gina, the SP Gina Jordan ones. Really didn't know about them like that, but forget them because I didn't, I didn't cop and I probably won't be trying to go after them either. Um, so the Yeezys, both of the Yeezys, we're gonna say I'll forget them on the both of the Yeezys. So we caught up now. My bad, y'all. I didn't do the forget them or forget them. So I'm gonna try to remember it going forward. Like, Rich, how you gonna have a segment called Get Them or Forget Them? And you ain't even saying what you're gonna do with them. Uh, next up, we got, I'm gonna just go through a whole pack because I did a whole separate video for this a while back. And y'all wanna go back and check that video and know what I think about each one of these shoes you can. And that's the uh, Reflections of a Champion pack, Air Jordan pack. Um, is commemorating the first three championships that Michael Jordan won with the Chicago Bulls. I I am very well versed in Michael Jordan and the Chicago Bulls. That is something that I am very knowledgeable of. And um, because I just grew up in that era. This is the era when I did have time to watch every NBA game. I knew all the players, all the teams, and all that stuff back in the 90s. So, um, especially with all the sneaker releases that came out for a lot of players that was popular back then. But um, we got the Air Jordan 6, won his first championship, of course, against the um, uh, Lakers. And we got Air Jordan 7. Won a championship against the um, Portland Trail Blazers. And then the eights, of course, he won against the Phoenix Suns, Charles Barkley, and them boys, man. I loved every one of those championship series. Not the biggest Jordan 8 fan. Love Jordan 7s, as y'all know. That's my favorite silhouette of the uh, Air Jordans. And Jordan 6 is like my favorite, second favorite uh, silhouette of the... Um, of the Air Jordan line, man, the retros. And like I said, all of these are dope. The eights, I'm like, the eights is like... I'm a, that's the one I'm least of a fan of, that's, and that's more because of the silhouette of, um, than the actual colorway on the shoe. I'm not really going crazy about these, but I think they dope, and I'm copping the sixes and the sevens. So get them on the sixes and the sevens, man. Very, very dope shoe. I love what it rep represents. The reflections of a champion has the 3M reflective material on them, and then like those are like two my some of my favorite eras in basketball, like the 1991 against the Lakers, man, especially after getting past the um, the uh, Detroit Pistons. Finally, for like the third time in a row, they just the Bulls couldn't get past the Pistons. They finally
finally beat the bad boy Detroit Pistons. Got past them and uh, uh, beat Magic Johnson and them Lakers, man, for that first championship. MJ was crying on the floor of the basketball. You got the... You got the uh was he on the floor of the basketball or was he like it was a picture of him like crying because that was his first championship, man. Very, very reflective moment, speaking of reflection. And the Jordan uh sevens, man, of course against the Portland Trailblazers, man, two in a row. And number three, you know what I'm saying, against Charles Barkley and them Phoenix Suns, man. But um, like I said, get him on two of them. I'm um, not copying the eights. Next up, I took a lot of time on that. I apologize. Uh <laughs> Um, so next up, I did talk about these shoes in in in, in a, in a uh, video before. I'm not gonna go over the uh, quite uh, the K54 because they're not re they re releasing overseas, and plus I don't like any of them. Like the, I guess I can go over some of them. The Jordan One Mid K54, trash. So next shoe, uh, <laughs> next shoe is that like I said, I talked about these on the video before. These are the Jordan Four Fly Knits. All of these colorways I talked about before. Probably won't cop none of them. Probably I'll forget them on every last one of them. The red, if I do cop any of them, it'll be the red. And, I'm, and that's only if I see them in hand and they just like, I'm really digging them. So, um, just not feeling fly knit on the Jordan 4, man. Give me a new buck, suede, stuff like that on the Jordan 4. Um, so, next is another Yeezy Boost called, it's a 700 V2 and it's called Tefra. I think that's the way you say that. And it just looks like a Kanye colorway, man. It reminds me of Kanye, those neutral browns and grays and, 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 and bones kind of colorway. And um, with the peanut butter bottom, stuff like that. It just looks like a Kanye shoe. Not really feeling it as far as how I, how I do my, my dressing and stuff like that. It's just not for me. Um, but it's cool for y'all Yeezy heads, man. Y'all can have them. So that's a forget them on them guys. And of course... Like I forget them. I like I said, forget them on all the uh, Jordan Four fly knits except for um, maybe the red. I don't know. Got another uh, K54, and it's, it is pronounced K54, not Kwai 54. The K54 um, Air Jordan Eight. The trash guy. These are trash guy. These are trash can water, man. My first trash can water on on this video. I just, I can't do them, bro. I just, it's nothing about that shoe I like. It just look, I don't even know. I don't even know who they made that shoe for. Um, So next up, and I was reluctant to talk about these, but I might as well. The, uh, Air Jordan, I mean Air Jordan Air, Nike Air Warp Tempo Black Camo. Trash can water. Spr Sprinkles of water, trash can, rain, trash, anything that got water, trash can, man, juice, uh, can't do it, man. Uh, I'm still not a fan of, fan of them Ant Bear Stumper, man. Them Air Max, uh, more tempo, clump, clump. Still not a fan of them, man. They still stomping out Ant Bears everywhere in the U, even though I know I got the ATL guys. I did get the ATL guy representing the city, but I just, I just can't, I just, I just, I can't do it, man. I just can't do it. Um, I think we almost halfway through this month, bro. So. We got the, um, it's not a lot of pictures online of this shoe, but it's the o OBJ X Nike Air Max 720. That's your boy, um, uh, Odell Beckham signature shoe. This shoe right here, I would have to see in hand. I would see more colorways. Like, for right now, I said, forget them. And just, eh, I ain't going crazy about them. A shoe that I am going crazy about that I am looking forward to, and probably the only sneaker that's left over in the month that's a definite get them is the air jordan 14 reverse ferrari now uh my guy fine line got them already i don't know if i'm gonna go ahead and get them early because most of the time i have to wear a 12 and a half in um in in, in air jordan 14s and the only way i can get a 12 and a half is if i order off nike or something like that and i don't know like i said i might just wait to the release for these so i can get that 12 and a half because every time i get a 12 it's a little bit too tight on my toe and 14s so I had to jump to a 13, which is too big. So I might just go ahead and wait on that uh, 12 and a half from Nike. You feel me? Um, but I like that shoe. It's dope. The yellow Ferrari. I love the red Ferrari. It's one of my favorite 14s in my collection. And the Laney's and stuff like that. I love those kind of 14s. The ones that don't have the ribbing on the side. That's just like flat on the side. And then, like I said, they're doing these with the leather too. So um, yellow Ferrari, man. Y'all come below. Tell me if y'all going after them. If y'all like them. Um, I know a lot of people... Um, that not really into 14s. They stopped liking uh, Jordan Retros after 13, and you know it is what it is. But uh, I'm going after those, man. So that's a get them. That's a get them. Um, next up, you got these Off White X Nike Zoom Terra Kyger Fives. It's like three colorways, and yeah, we're not doing those, man. We're not doing those. They look like they for 
what is it soccer I, I can't I'm not even gonna lie I don't even know what those spikes are for it's some kind of sport I don't know every time I'm not knowledge about something now I feel like I gotta explain myself <laughs> I don't know what the hell they for man I should have did some research right it don't say what it don't even say what the hell these shoes are for these are for like climbing walls or something I don't damn know I'm good man I'm good I'm not even finna speculate they're $180 and they're definitely a forget them I'm not even I don't even want them I want to try for them I can I can care less if they off-white Virgil I can care less if you design those I'm good on them G um but I like a lot of stuff you bring out I like a lot of stuff you do but those just not one of them not not for me um and this is gonna be the last one I talk about and this might be a shoe that I get early as well I'm thinking about getting this shoe um, it's the Air Jordan 1 ride. Air Jordan 1 Retro High OG Gym Red. And it looks just like the, uh, to me, it looks like the not for resale Jordan 1s that came out. Which resale prices are, are plummeting on that shoe right there. I ain't going to say plummeting. They're going down a little bit, a little bit more easier to get. But um, I like the colorway on this shoe. I just got a lot of black, red, and, 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 and white Jordan 1s, man. I feel like if I get this shoe, my wife is not going to be pleased because she already talking about how many black, red, and white. Or uh, shoes that I got, you know what I'm saying? So I want to see them in hand, though. Like I, I can always sell them if 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 I don't need them, I don't like them. But I definitely want to see them in hand and bring a review to y'all and let y'all know my opinions on the shoe when it actually comes. Cause from the video, I looked at fine line video. It looked the shoe looks. The shoe looks like it got some decent materials on it, and it looked like it might look dope on feet. I love the red that's on it, because it's like that that real, real gem red, that darker red. So, um, I can't wait to see that shoe in hand, man. But anyway, that's all I'm seeing on here. I'm on, like, uh, what is this, Kicks on Fire release dates. So, that's all I kind of see on this on these release dates right now. Um, I come below and tell me what y'all going after, man. That's what I really want to know. I want to know what y'all opinions is on some of these uh, June releases, what you going after. Maybe you can bring something to light. Uh, about these shoes that I don't know. Info. Uh, peacefully though. You ain't gotta. You ain't gotta dog me out. You ain't gotta be like, Rich, you trash. You don't know nothing about sneaker, man. You ain't gotta do that. Uh, I'm like, Rich, Rich on another one today. Them boy must. Them boy made Rich get in their feelings today. Not really, but it's just when you, like I said, when you got a platform, people think you automatically gotta know everything about everything, man. That ain't the case, man. It's a lot of stuff that I don't know about. That's why I do this, man. So I can learn. I ask questions. I be like, bro, what these is? What these is, man? Let's boy Rich know what these is, man. You feel me? <laughs> anyway, man, I appreciate y'all for watching, man. Thank y'all so much for tuning into my videos. I, pre I I don't say it enough. I feel like I don't say it enough that much. I appreciate y'all for actually clicking on my videos, watching them, watching the ads, and just ch just 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 really supporting my channel, man. That's real big to me, man. I started doing that thing in 2014, so 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, five years on YouTube. It don't even feel like that, man. But um. I, it reminds me about how long I've been on here when I look back at some of my first videos and how it just whew, I came a long way, bro. I came a long way. I'm gonna just start. I'm gonna do some reactions. What y'all think about me doing reactions to some of my first videos, man? Cause you know it's it's always good to laugh at yourself and clown yourself sometimes, man. It it, it keeps you humble. You know what I'm saying? Anyway, I appreciate y'all for watching. Y'all hit the thumbs up, like, subscribe, and all that good stuff. Hit the notification bell so you can become a part of Rich Nation. Stand all the way up to the moon on them, man. You feel me? And keep watching my video, cause that's what I'm here for. Go Mike, Rich, no hype, just kicks. Jordan, six.